Okay, what's up, you guys? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Soldiers Talk the Podcast. I'm your host, Sergeant McPherson, and on this show, we discuss military topics with current and prior service members. Today, I have Specialist Turner with me. Specialist Turner, go ahead and kind of introduce yourself to the people. Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Specialist Turner. I am from Atlanta, Georgia, born and raised. I've been in the Army five years, two tours on deployment. I went to Kuwait two times. Back, to, uh, I went from 2018, came back 2018, and I went again like 2019. I went Saudi Arabia. That was nice. That was a nice do, uh, deployment. Okay, uh, how long have you been in? in five the- years. Okay, so we're gonna kind of start off from the beginning. Okay, so. You from Atlanta, Georgia, right? Born and raised. Okay, so kind of describe like the atmosphere, uh, you know, like back, back, back home, back where you from. So Atlanta, I'm saying like my background from Atlanta, it's a, it's a lot going, it's a lot of gang, a uh, gang violence, it's a lot of uh, drug, drug violence, it's a lot of things that I had to get out of nature and just try to uh, appear as out of. I left Atlanta in 2016 of June. The part of I uh, joined the army June 14th, 2016. Okay, so describe the decision that you made. Saying, "Okay," describe the journey uh, up to the decision where you said, "Okay, I'm gonna join join the army." What made you say that? What made me want to join the army? I'm saying it was just too many losses. It's too many. Uh, too many losses that I took and too many uh people that I seen die. And it's just like I just need to see a better adventure. You need to see something different. That's what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, so when you first joined, what was your MOS? I was a 42 Alpha. That is a human resource, an admin clerk. Okay, so you've been a 42 Alpha the whole time, right? Yeah, I have. Okay, kind of explain some of the your duties and responsibilities as a forty two alpha for the people who don't know what y'all do. So, so what a forty two alpha does, I'm saying, is basically we uh keep uh, and track of uh, administration, paperwork, personnel. We keep um, accountability. We keep we keep the purse stack. So purse stacks we give by numbers. And make sure, like we make, we make sure we arrive every soldier, like in an admin, like in an admin down. Okay, so you know me from being stationed at Fort Riley together, right? I have. And we was at two five eight in the, in the same company, basically in the same company. We have. So this episode, you guys, I call especially Turner to basically talk about Article Fifteen procedures. These are something. These are some things that happens in the army. I know it's it's unfortunate that we have to talk about these certain things, but the this is a reality in the army. But I hate talking about this type of stuff. But I do. But we do have to address certain things and uh, basically to explain how these things work and how uh, they might affect some soldiers. So. Specialist Turner, you don't have to go into the detail about uh, everything, but uh, can you kind of explain what what kind of, first of all, what kind of Article 15 did you uh, have? I had a field grade Article 15. I was facing, like, I was facing, like, consequences with, with uh, I was facing consequences with uh, of, uh, of a lieutenant who accused, who accused me uh not standing in the household goods that I ain't. I was living in, didn't want me to go home to see my family. I just got back from deployment. Okay. So this, uh, this just one of the incidents a soldier might have uh, went through. I have went through it before. Uh, I might have to explain that to another, on another, uh, uh, video, but I have, uh, experienced article 15s myself. Me, myself, I have had two company grade Article 15s and a field grade Article 15 for you guys out there who don't know. So these different Article 15s fall in different categories to where a company grade Article 15 
is stay at the company. So the company commander will uh, determine whether you're guilty or not, and they take it from there. So uh, Special Attorney uh, described what happened uh, when they first, I guess when you first uh, heard about, when you first got informed that you uh, they was going to start the non-judicial punishment for you. So when I found so when I was found when I found out that I was uh getting a process like getting an article fifteen, I was trying to I got up all the uh the paperwork that I needed, just going through legal and everything. So basically I was going through it like uh a mental breakdown, like just seeing like what's going on, like I didn't know what like I didn't know what was going on. At the time the lieutenant accused me doing this and this. And I just, when I submitted like my paperwork up to like to the hires, like my battalion commander, he's a 06 in the army. And so when I submitted my like my packet, like to request to talk to him, he asked me like he asked me what's going on, and I told him I told him like this was going on. Okay, so when y'all had that first, when you had your first hearing. You uh the the commander basically uh conducted here and he decides if you guilty or not. So did he did he tell you he thought you was guilty or what? So the first read I'm saying like it was it was automatic. I'm saying it was automatic. It was guilty because they didn't have the right paper. I'm saying like it was automatic. Like the paperwork was right, but the thing about it it was just some paperwork was not in the uh, legal paperwork. Okay, so. With that being said, when they moved to the next step, uh, did did you get your punishment or did they they found you not guilty, right? So on my, on my second hearing, they found me non guilty because I had I had uh the proper actions, I had the proper paperwork, stating what's going on, and just going telling me like what's going on about the case. So. I was like, uh, I was going back and forth with the command sergeant major. That's the E nine in the army. That's the last enlisted advisor. So I was briefing her like what's going on about the case, and she said, um, "I'm gonna talk to the battalion commander and tell me like they told me get out the room, but they can discuss what's going on with my case." So as they as they prolong it, like telling me what's going on, it was just basically I was non guilty. I had ninety days restriction. Okay, so restriction, that's basically uh, su- suspension, right? That's basically saying that you got 90 days to prove to them that you don't deserve whatever they're going to do, right? Roger that. Okay, yeah, so that's some of the things. That's one of the things I went to you guys just to explain it. So the suspension, if they give you a, if they prove that you're guilty and they give you a suspension, that's not saying that you're reduction or reduced to the uh, whatever whatever punishment they're gonna give you. That's saying within that suspension, if you get in trouble, then they gonna take the proper uh, procedure and do whatever they're gonna do. So after that, found not guilty, and this this for he was found not guilty. So the ones that's found guilty, you have you have. If you think you've been punished excessively or the evidence was not properly considered, you got five days to appeal to the next command. So that means your company, your whatever, your punishment going to move up to the next higher level and then they get to decide. So Specialist Turner, so what what kind of uh, Article 15 was that? It was a, it was a field grade Article 15. So basically, they were trying to uh, give me uh, 45, 45, 45 days. So basically, with 45, 45 million, I'm saying like reduction life of of the next rank. I'm saying with demotion like of the next rank that I am. So it would have been an E3. It would be a private first class. They'll list me as if if I would did found guilty. They will took half of my pay. Okay, so... That's the field grade. That's the maximum punishment. So the maximum punishment for a field grade is 40 days extra duty, 60 days restriction, an oral reprimand or admonition, forfeiture of one and a half base month pay for two months, and reduction in rank to E1 for E4 and below, a reduction in rank 
of one grade for E5 and E6. So, uh, like I was saying, uh, this is not something that we want to talk about. Like, I, I don't even like talking about this type of stuff, but it is a reality in the military. And I know it's a lot of soldiers out there who might want to, uh, might got a lot of questions and might be going through uh, different type of situations. But uh, especially Turner, uh, I know you was wrong. You was wrongfully accused. So what what type of advice do you got for any soldiers out there who, I mean, going through the same thing? What what can you tell them to do? Make sure you have the right paperwork. Make sure you have like good leadership, like they can speak on your good. Uh, make sure you you have good leadership. And they can speak on your behalf. Make sure you have like good uh, guidance. Make sure you're just not a terrible soldier. Make sure you just don't mess up in the army to follow up like for your your progression. Make sure you always be honest. Make sure you always be loyal to like to the person that you you facing. Okay, so like I said, uh, yeah. So you want to make sure you have everything. You want to have make sure you have all your ducks in a row, basically. Uh, especially if you if you know you if you feel in your heart that you you didn't commit whatever you did, uh, it's gonna it's you, you gonna it's gonna show. So. Basically, if you got any questions uh, about anything, uh, you can hit me on that Instagram at the bottom of the page. I also have Specialist Turner Instagram at the bottom of the page. I mean, at the, uh, in the description of this video. So please uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like, comment on in, any subjects that you guys want to hear, hear me talk about, anything that y'all want to hear. Uh, me speak about uh, this episode was basically on Article 15s and the proceedings and how they were supposed to go. I got all, I got the paperwork on how it's supposed to go, but uh, you you guys just have to uh, just let me know if you want a, uh, another video on me going into more detail about Article 15s and uh, what you're supposed to get. So, Special Turner, in closing, what type of advice? As a specialist, you specialist promoter, but now right? Or, yeah. No, you you are uh, done with BLC, right? Yeah. Okay, so now you just waiting on points, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what kind type of advice do you got for anybody who out there, uh, any type of soldiers? What 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 you got to say to them right now? In, in closing, if you uh, if you ever stay in the army, you know what I'm saying, make sure you uh. Make sure you be in the right uniform. Make sure you be in the right time. If you want to make it like progression, like make sure like progress in the army. Make sure you just have good procedures. Like for example, if you ever want to make to the the rank for E five and call sergeant, um, make sure you get the right BOC done. Basically, the course. If you want to go from E six uh, staff sergeant, make sure you go to ALC advanced leader course. If you want to just make sure you, if you want to do anything like proficient in the army, make sure you just have a good role model. You know what I'm saying, and have good leaders that can look out for you and they can just tell you how to like how to go and how to progress in the army. Okay, uh, there you guys go. So, uh, special Turner. So, uh, did you you think you covered everything you wanted to cover? Uh, it is anything you want to talk about as far as like the Article 15 procedures. Uh, anything that I missed that you want to mention? Make sure everything is in your legal packet. Make sure everything in your legal paper, your your paper. Make sure everything is in like in file, and make sure every everything is like there. Make sure if you're missing some paper, make sure you contact legal. If you illegal don't have it, make sure you just contact TDS. Okay, and uh. You also uh, want to make sure you get some outside legal advice sometimes. Like I know I was I was going through it, so I was trying to find out a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, this has been another episode of Soldier Talk the Podcast, uh, and I'll see you guys next time.